Hi, I'm Chris with Wetbox. So kind of going to go over what we've done here. Um, so we had met prior, um, there was an upcoming contest uh, that was sponsored by the roof manufacturer and a lot of kind of back and forth. Uh, prior to going out, John came out to, to compare systems. He had just gotten this whole system, uh, what, 10 months prior, right? Yes. And you're in, what'd you say, about 14 grand at that point? Um, after your sub and the that and the battery and the wiring and all that probably about 12 okay about 12 grand. okay so basically we went out to this contest he had just gotten um, pretty much the best he could get that he knew about um, went to this contest we ran systems against systems uh, we were up against full stunt walls uh, with our two seat KRX he got the opportunity to hear the system and in a sense heard it numerous times because we go right in the same place so he decided after 10 months to start over so we kind of want to go over what you need to know and understand. If you're buying a system at this level, your goal is to get the best you can get inside the car and outside the car. Um, so we want to go over kind of what makes it different and, and kind of why he made the choice to start over. The goal is that nobody else has to do that. You understand kind of all the principles of audio. You purchase one time and you get the best on the planet. And we 100% think we deliver that. So we're going to go through a few things. So first thing is projection. So when a system projects down, it gets trapped in the cavity of the car. So it's limited on what it does outside of the car because there's only so much sound can kind of do this. So anytime a speaker goes from this to point it at you, it's a night and day difference. And the one thing we do with our projection is we create speakers in a 360 that project all the way around the car. So whereas this vehicle before only did straight down, now because of those front firing speakers there, which are capable of doing 130 decibels on their own, we have those pods on the back there on video as a standalone in a parking lot doing three quarters of a mile. So what's happening is those speakers right there are firing straight forwards. When he's driving and the doors are shut, he's got projection that's incredible going forward. So then when he opens his door, as you can see, the sound comes forward and out. That one's hitting kind of a 30 degree angle and then direct forward here. And then he has down fire in those pods as well. So as you rotate around the back of the car, you're getting fill coming from these lowers. And then, of course, from the back, you get straight from the back. That's very, very different than just a down fire speaker. Um, it's also important to understand the starting point is the quality of speakers themselves. You've got the main companies, Kicker, Fosgate, they all go back right about the same amount of time, a little over 50 years. For 50 years, they've been competing against each other in, in major competitions, major builds, you know, innovation after innovation, you know, trying to do this and, and they make what's happening here and it's taken a long time to get there. Roof manufacturers are just grabbing a speaker from China and, and off manufacturing. If you look at the forums, you're gonna see where these speakers, this brand, other roof brands, completely imploding, separating around the cones. That doesn't happen with speakers like this. So right off the bat, the quality of each individual speaker makes a huge difference. In this case, we're taking eight inch, which this is Kicker's premium speaker. We've run Kicker, Fosgate, different tiers, but we're taking eight inch and competing with a system that was all tens. In theory, if that was a quality 10, these should not be able to compete with those, not even close. Um, the other thing is sound staging to go over. When you're in the vehicle, the problem with roof systems is whatever speaker is right by your face becomes your entire system because you, it's called forced mono. Because of proximity, that one speaker is mostly what you hear, it overwhelms you. So the other thing you gain in this system, you have eight inch kick pods here, you have the doors, you have the rears. When you're sitting, you're in a sound field that's doing this, this, rear door is here, here. So you're in a bubble of sound instead of realistically just having one speaker overwhelming you. Um, so I kind of want to go through those things. So it would be, would it be true to say that when you bought this, you thought it was a 10? Absolutely. Okay, so now I think the best way to explain the difference and how much it's come is to say, okay, if the wet box is a 10 now, would you say that's fair? Yes, okay. absolutely. So if the wet box is a 10 now for directionality when you're sitting in the car and you're, you've got a field around you, what would you say this would now be in comparison to the wet box? Uh, this would be a zero. For wet sound box station. would be a 10. Okay. If you turn your head, you can hear it from all angles. Awesome. So projection um, outside of the car, what would have this been before? This, uh, this would have, 
first got this one, I thought this was a 10. After this, is, after you installed this, this is probably a three now. On projection. Gotcha. Projection. This is a 10. 360 degrees, same Absolutely. thing. Absolutely, all the way around it. Okay, gotcha. And then clarity. Um, if this was a 10 before, where do you think you are now? I'd say I'm a 10 here. I was a three there. Gotcha, gotcha. And at the end of the day, this entire system is less expensive than what he had in to this. So the goal is to just help people so you don't have to start over. There's a lot of engineering and physics that go into it. The first major things that make it work, these are complete enclosed enclosures. So they're not like your typical ABS where it's a little six and a half is mounted and it's, it's rattling in the wind, has no back pressure. This is made just like a sub enclosure. It's polyurethane infused with fiberglass. So when you tap it, it's not the thin ABS, they're solid. So that's part of why each enclosure does so much more. That's how we can get 130 decibels, which is a jet taking off from an aircraft carrier. Your average roof, you meter these roofs, they come in at 105 to 110 combined. The entire roof, 110 dB. Those single pods alone with nothing else, 130, that's four times louder. So you've got to imagine you have that much level of projection and volume coming from each location and an entire roof combined can't touch that. So these are the things to understand um, that, you know, make a system better and can make a system that much better. Uh, so the goal here, of course, we want to feed our family, but it's to help people not have to start over. Uh, there's a roof for sale in case anybody wants one. Yeah, this was so, like I said, this was this is great when I got it. And the construction of it is very good. And very good like, fabrication, very for good. sure. Yep. Uh, the driving lights made it nice. It's all plug and play. When I say 12,000, that's because I had the Rockford Fosgate 10 M2s in the back with the cans right. and your sub and then the head unit. Gotcha. That's where I came up with 12, around 12 with the extra batteries and the wiring and the labor and everything. Gotcha. Man, wires. Right. But uh, definitely would have went with this if, had I known this was on the market at the time I got this. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we appreciate it. The goal is to help other people and to get the best sound. The, the concept of roof started from I don't know why. But probably because people thought you can't get speakers wet. We run into that all the time. You know, I get, oh, but I go in the water. This stuff's all waterproof. Our systems go, you know, up to people's necks all across the country, especially here in Florida. So the concept of the roof thing, I think, started there. They've improved them. And, and again, the fabrication is awesome. But you can't beat physics. Audio is physics. It's, it's everything. So it just, they need to go the way of the dodo. I mean, they're just not the way to do it. And then... You know, he's going to be able to pull 400 pounds off this roof, and that might be an exaggeration, but it's hundreds of pounds. It's heavy. So he's going to be able to take that off. Now he doesn't have a cantilever. His handling of his vehicle, his center of gravity is going to be much, much better. The more weight you add low, like our subs, the more center of gravity you actually improve the handling versus, you know, making it work against you in the upper up deal. So, One well, I'm sorry. One suggestion I have for people out there that don't understand is don't be closed-minded. You know, op open up, don't be ignorant, come out and learn like I did. You know, I came down here on a Saturday with you to get the sub and uh, the kicker head unit, and we compared them. It wasn't it wasn't a, uh, you got a piece of crap system versus my, my system. You know, you're very respectful to the other manufacturers, and uh, and you're passionate about what you do, and your workmanship shows it. So that's, I appreciate that. that's why I came back to, to put all this in. Yeah, we're, our goal is never to badmouth anybody, just... You know, I've been doing this 33 years. It's There's a lot that goes into understanding audio, and there's a lot of innovation that we brought to the table that's never existed. So even if somebody's been in the industry, until they've heard what we make specifically, they don't know. Um, so, and, and people are knowing us, as of course, we, we build. So yeah, for him to come out and, and listen to him and, and you know, it, you know it, it's tough. It's tough when you spend the money, you're proud of what you have. And like I told him, you know, it's the best solution you could get before these solutions but the key to these solution is 75% of what make these things work is the same structure that cars have been doing forever the concept of the roof is a side-by-side -side thing um, we're not inventing anything new in sound staging we're just doing it in side by side for the first time and, and eight inch of course makes that huge huge difference over your typical six and a half that's twice the size of a six and a half driver and an open air application like this you need more subs than you think you need bigger driving than you think you need to get that output that, that you really want so well thank you so much Sean we really appreciate it uh, this is I, I think it's probably the baddest talent on the planet at this point from an audio standpoint and uh, you know we just keep trying to improve them so appreciate Absolutely. all that thank, thank you, you sir all right.